When news of the fire at the corner of French Street and Aria Peter Avenue broke, the nurses at Dee's nursing home on the neighboring Cornelia Street felt little concern until a flood of smoke came into the home, putting them all at risk. Well, we are now finished giving them their lunch and we were in the process of tidying them and I smelled something, but I, went, I thought it was in the nursing home itself. So when I checked, it was nothing and I saw some smoke coming from outside and I told my co-worker, it's not inside here, girl, so don't worry, it's outside. Next thing we just saw, this gulf of smoke just entered, so we had to rush the patients down to the back. She Another of the nurses raised alarm and they got assistance from their neighbours. She ran outside screaming for help and my poor workers, uh, they came in and started evacuating and these people here were so kind to us, well, come in here. They were eventually shuffled down the street to a preschool, but one of the residents was badly affected and had to be taken to hospital. One has gone to the hospital and two gone home, but we're still in the process of calling the relatives to come and take them because they cannot stay inside there tonight. Or they will have at least three of them. We will have to house them somewhere else because they cannot, definitely cannot stay inside that building. The remaining residents of the home were taken by ambulance to the Woodbrook Health Facility. But C News learned the situation did not improve for them as they were not allowed access to the facility. Instead, they had to be taken in temporarily at the private home of a doctor who also works at the home. Deputy Mayor of Port of Spain, Hillel Morin, confirmed this to C News and informed us that an intervention was eventually made to house the remaining residents at the Living Waters community. Peter Christopher, C News.